Hey guys, it's Jared from NYPost.com's Pop Rep hanging out with Malin Ackerman talking all about her amazing new movie, The Bang Bang Club. Check it out. You can go anywhere. Don't you at least pretend to be scared? I don't date photographers. You keep terrible hours. And you're crazy. <laughs> some bad stuff too. Right off the bat, I would love to know what attracted you to this project. I've always been a big fan of movies that are based on true stories. I had no prior um, experience with Bang Bang Club, the, the book, the novel, I had no idea it existed. These guys are so uh, complex and intriguing and really for me are, are, are true heroes in their own sort of sense. All of, all of the people that say that it's our job to sit there and watch people die. You know what? It was really well written. It was something that, as an actor, you could really dig your teeth into. It's a piece of history that I think is, is amazing and, and should be told. Really, these guys risk their lives in order to give us the story. So it's a white man's photo taken for white man's purposes. Stop it! Stop taking pictures. What if he's not guilty? Doesn't matter. This struck me in some ways as a boys club because you're kind of the only woman in the cast. Can you hang pretty well? Damn right I can hang. <laughs> <laughs> they totally brought me in as one of the guys. At certain points I was like, you guys know that I'm a girl, right? Like, <laughs> do I need to flash my boobs to let you know? Um, and they were like, yes please. No. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that works. That's why I didn't really ask that question. <laughs> now obviously being a fan of yours, I first got to know you through comedy. Yes. And over the past few years, we've seen a really interesting shift into drama. For you, where does your heart lie, with comedy or drama? I love comedy, and I always want to do comedy. You know, I think that's something that I, I feel very comfortable in that genre. Um, I think that the dramatic side is definitely more of a challenge. I may suck in a lot of things that I do, but I want to give them a try, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and challenge myself, see if I can do it. Um, and if not, then I'll just go back to comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Huge, massive comeback fan. One of Thank you. I would have loved to have a few more seasons. I've been super lucky. I mean, I've had some really great films and really great cast members. And talk about walking into this business in class. I mean, it's great comedy. It really raised the bar for me from the very beginning. What's wrong with you? This place, I've hated all. The film is set in 1994. Yeah. If we could flash back, who was Malin in 1994? Oh, I was a girl wearing Birkenstocks and long hippie skirts, going to the orchards, smoking maybe more than cigarettes. <laughs> I was a huge hippie back then, back in the day. And, uh, and listening to Nirvana and ACDC, and yeah, I was, I was definitely, uh, definitely sort of hippie grunge at that time. Have we progressed or we've just suppressed? We have definitely progressed. <laughs> <laughs> definitely progressed. Um, or maybe not, I don't know. I think it was great that we could film in South Africa. That's not at all like the chef from the Muppets. Not like, at all, not no, <laughs> no. I don't really know where the chef from the Muppets is from. 